Hi everyone, I am Dr. Shahan Laik and here in this video I will teach you the difference between condyloma accumulata and condyloma lata. So there is uh, a dermatological question always asked in NEET PG FMG examination where we need to differentiate the lesions of condyloma acuminata and condyloma lata. So both looks overall similar. So how can we differentiate between the two? Basically, you have to look the picture. Condyloma acuminata, which is in the left side of the screen, you can see condyloma acuminata. It is HPV infection. It is caused by HPV, human papilloma, human papilloma virus. So it is HPV infection. And how it looks? Cauliflower-like look. It looks cauliflower like it looks cauliflower like rough top accumulates together so how is the cauliflower cauliflower accumulates together can you see the lesion it accumulates together it accumulates together that is condyloma accumulata switch accumulates together that is why it is known as acuminata acuminata why it is called acuminata because it accumulates together just like a cauliflower just like a cauliflower now what is condyloma lata condyloma lata on the right side you can see the lesion it is found in secondary syphilis lata is associated with syphilis remember lata is associated with syphilis what kind of syphilis secondary syphilis so it is also a question condyloma lata can be found in secondary syphilis condyloma lata can be found in secondary syphilis and how is the lesion it is flat lesion it is flat it is not cauliflower like cauliflower like lesion and accumulates together that lesion is found in condyloma acuminata but condyloma lata lesions flat lesion velvety moist and broad base in nature so it is a broad it is broad nature condyloma lata has a broad nature broad base and it is flat in nature flat in nature velvety flat in nature moist and condyloma lata is moist remember it is uh, it is related with secondary syphilis and it is a moist lesion flat lesion moist lesion but condyloma accumulata cauliflower like rough top cauliflower has a rough top have you seen a cauliflower La rough top so cauliflower like rough top lesion that can be found and it is accumulates together it accumulates together that is why it is known as accumulata which uh, virus causes it hpv hpv so remember condyloma accumulata is caused by hpv yeah, and condyloma lata is related with secondary syphilis so both are different let us learn the difference between the two in a table so that you can understand it clearly yes now look at this table here on the left side it is condyloma lata which is associated with syphilis remember lata on the right side we have condyloma accumulata cauliflower like remember accumulates together right side okay so let us differentiate between condyloma lata and accumulata lata is associated with syphilis i told you so what is the cause triponema pallidum you know triponema pallidum cause syphilis so secondary syphilis uh, lata is related with secondary syphilis and what is the cause triponema pallidum triponema pallidum and what causes the condyloma accumulator? I already told you HPV, human papilloma virus, human, human papilloma virus, human papilloma virus. Now, what is the color of lata? How, what is the color of lata? Basically, it is dull. It is dull in color because it is associated with syphilis. So, it is dull color, dull red, grayish, white color. Okay, lata is grayish white dull color but accumulata accumulata which is cauliflower like that is a kind of skin or skin color or red color kind of light red color okay the accumulata is actually red color now where is the bleeding so you can imagine if it is red color accumulata which is uh, light red color that will bleed 
So condyluma accumulata, which is cauliflower like lesion, when you touch the cauliflower, it will bleed. It will bleed. When you touch the cauliflower, it will bleed. Remember this. So when you touch the cauliflower like le accumulata lesion, it will bleed. But condyluma lata are flat lesion. I told you flat top lesions. They are greyish white, flat top. It is not radius okay flat top white color lesion it do not bleed it do not bleed so latter do not bleed latter do not bleed but when you touch the cauliflower like lesion it will bleed very easily condyloma accumulator lesion it will bleed very easily now which one will be rough and which one will be flat i already discussed condyloma accumulator will be rough top condyloma accumulator that means the cauliflower like lesion that will be rough that will be rough because if you've seen a cauliflower the top of the cauliflower is rough yes so it is rough top and when you uh, have the uh, condyloma lata has the flat lesion flat lesion and these flat lesion are moist in nature condyloma lata which is associated with syphilis have flat lesion and moist in nature moist in nature remember moisture is there moist lesion condyloma lata now which have soft pedunculated which is soft pedunculated which is soft pedunculated condyloma accumulata accumulata which is cauliflower like lesion that that has peduncle the cauliflower has peduncle remember cauliflower has peduncle and it is soft in nature soft pedunculated lesion cauliflower like that is accumulator accumulator and what about lata lata are flat top lesion but these are hard lesion indurated lesion and sessile lesion indurated sessile lesion are lata lata is indurated hard syphilic lesion are flat lesion moist lesion and hard lesion indurated lesion and sessile it doesn't have any peduncle which will have peduncle already told you the cauliflower has peduncle so you can remember condyloma accumulator has pedunculated lesion and which is soft yes the cauliflower is soft cauliflower is soft you can remember like that now dark ground examination if you do dark microscopy where we do dark microscopy we do dark microscopy in case of the Yes, triponema pallida. In case of syphilis, in case of syphilis, we do the dark ground microscopy. We we do the dark microscopy examination. So condyloma lata would be positive. Would be positive in dark ground examination. Dark ground examination, which will be positive condyloma lata because it's associated with secondary syphilis. It is associated with secondary syphilis condyloma lata. So that will be positive. But condyloma accumulata, it is associated with human papilloma virus it is associated with the human papilloma virus so it will be negative so it will be negative dark ground examination is negative in a, a condyloma accumulator but is positive in condyloma lata because it is associated with syphilis remember this and what is the treatment do you know the treatment how can we treat condyloma accumulator how can we treat condyloma lata anyone any idea first let's take condyloma lata Condyloma lata is associated with what? Which disease pain is associated with? Yes, syphilis. So it's associated with syphilis. So the what will be the drug of choice? Do you know the drug of choice of syphilis? Yes, that is penicillin. Yes, benzathine penicillin. So that is the drug of choice for penicillin. So here, as condyloma lata is associated with syphilis, so the drug will be penicillin. The drug will be penicillin how we treat the condyloma lata with penicillin remember because condyloma lata is associated with is associated with syphilis and that is why the treatment will be with penicillin now condyloma accumulator accumulator how will tip accumulator the cauliflower like lesion we have to treat with the help of podophyllia phylum resin remember podophyllum resin 25 percent in alcohol remember this podophyllum podophyllum they give you in the option podophyllum so there will be question like condyloma accumulator can be treated with the help of option a podophyllum resin option b penicillin so in this way the option will be there you have to choose podophyllum podophyllum so podophyllum is for condyloma accumulator and remember for condyloma lata we treat with the help of penicillin so remember this 
and revise once again condyloma accumulator or cauliflower like lesion condyloma accumulator cauliflower like lesion and it has pedunculated lesion soft cauliflower soft lesion and it is easily bleed it easily bleed it is associated with human papilloma virus but in case of latta it's associated with secondary syphilis and it is flat top lesion so as it is flat it is sessile it is not pedunculated and it is hard in nature indurated lesion and this can be treated with the help of penicillin and condyloma accumulator can be treated with the help of podophyllum podophyllum regime 25 percent in alcohol so this is the end of this video and i would like to end this video with the help of a very important quote remember this the magic you are looking for is in the work you are avoiding the magic you are uh, looking for is in the work you are avoiding so always remember we all want magic we all want magic to happen in the, in our life but the magic actually is where the magic actually is in the work which we are avoiding so do not avoid the work do not avoid the work do not avoid hard work which you are avoiding there lies the magic do the hard work and you will get the result so this is the end of this video please subscribe this channel do not go without subscribing this channel this channel contains so many medical videos free of cost you can watch just you need to press the subscribe button thank you have a nice day bye bye